All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for a donation deck here for some Mardu Glass. So we're calling this Mardu Glass because of Glass of the Guild Pact is what the deck was built around. So Glass of the Guild Pact is a two mana artifact that says all of your multicolor creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So building around Glass of the Guild Pact is kind of tough. There's, you know, different colors you can you can uh, build around as you know, think about like Abzan or Esper, you know, also have like the afterlife stuff. I think just kind of starting with black, white with afterlife is like a, a good place to go. But with those kind of decks, you know, it's basically like those, those decks are like attrition decks where do you have a creature out or anything? The sizing that you get, the additional sizing of plus one, plus one isn't as valuable. And so instead we're going to go with Mardu where we're trying to be aggressively slanted where this uh, additional power and toughness can be pretty important. Uh, so as you see here, we just have a lot of multicolor creatures. We're not playing Hero of Precinct 1 because playing Hero of Precinct 1 and Glass of the Guild Pact together don't really gel, even though both cards really care about multicolor creatures. The two of them together just kind of fight for the same slot. Basically, if Hero of Precinct 1 made multicolor creatures, it would be a lot nicer, but it makes 1-1 one, one white tokens. They're not multicolored. Um, this was uh, Johnny Pot Pie donate for this, and uh, he actually just asked me to, to make a, a Glass of the Guild pack deck. And so this is what I, I spent some of my off time yesterday was kind of like going through like those other types and, and settled on this one here. Um, yeah, so Aurelia has Mentor. Uh, and can pump up your creatures. So does Tajik. Both of these have Mentor. Swiftblade Vindicator is like a, a really important card for this deck. So it has, it's a small creature with double strike, but it it pairs really well with Glass of the Guild Pact that can make it a 2-2 double strike. Tajik can also Mentor onto it. Aurelia gets to pump it up. Ajani can pump it up. All of that kind of stuff. So this, uh, Judith also adds a, an additional power. So this is a really important card for us here. Um... And uh, besides that, we have a couple of afterlife creatures with the Imperialist Oligarch and Seraph of the Scales uh, that allow us to get some extra extra tokens also whenever they die. Um, I ended up going with, with Lightning Strike. over Like, I started with, like, no removal, and I started with, like, the, the red-black 2-2 two, two for 2 with haste, but we needed, like, a little bit of interaction, and then I was thinking about maybe, like, cast down, lava coil, mortify, all that kind of stuff, and kind of decided just to, to play Lightning Strikes, and I've been happy with them. Um, I also started with 24 lands and got stuck on lands a ton, and so going with 25, also adding in a third Angrath, because that card's just incredible. And I, I did have a couple of Johnnies to start with there. Uh, but this is what we got here, and uh, let's let's give it a go. Mardu Glass. See if we can attack people and everything. Let's... Let's head on over to the traditional constructed keys. Let's get a, a nice queue going here with our Mardu Glass deck. Correct, no hero precinct one. Yeah, we we're just talking about that. You must you must have just tuned in here, Rattling, because yeah, we were just saying that. But it kind of it competes for like the same slots in the deck as Glass of the Guild Pack. It's I don't think it works as well playing both of those cards together. Wow, I have never seen a hand like this. Hmm. Well, we have good mana, and every card we draw is going to be a very big threat. Izoni does work with glass. Yeah, it does work well. Uh, that's why I, I was thinking about going Abzan with Izoni, but overall, it didn't seem like the glass was doing enough. Y'all are saying keep? All right, everybody wants to keep. Yeah, the afterlife tokens are multicolored. So all the cards that have afterlife make multicolored creatures. All right, everybody's saying keep. Yeah, this, this could go insane or flop real hard. So good news is 
Glass is pretty good against Mono Red because like your creatures don't die to Chain Whirler or Firebrand anymore. So that's kind of good news. The bad news is we're going to be dead really quickly if we don't draw stuff. No, my cat. No, uh, Hawkeye is just a just a a stray, like an American stray, or not. Wait, not stray. What's it? Um, American something. Short hair, American short hair. I don't know the whatever the most common type of cat is in America. He's that. Oh man, this this seraph is gonna be pretty big. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Hawkeye is a, America short hair. Short hair. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, I think he's American short hair. I don't think he's a tabby. Ugh. What do you think, Hawkeye? You American short hair? He's like, what's going on? I'm getting pet. Huh. I see a flaw in the mana that I played earlier. That I didn't quite notice before. Yeah, sideboard. Sideboard, we got life gain stuff. Sideboard, we have four copies of um, Basilica Bell Hunt, and we have two Lyra Dawnbringers. I noticed the error of my ways with going Blood Crypt Dragon Skull Summit. Right, yeah, we'd rather them be a creature deck than a burn deck. I just have to hope they whiff. I can't I can't really go to seven. This thing hits me to six and like expect to win. I just gotta hope they just like draw a bunch of lands or something. Or creatures. Yeah, we ended up at six anyway, because our opponent did not whiff, but, you know, that's that's what I had to hope. So I still just have to hope they just don't don't draw spells. If they have spells, we're dead. I mean, the chances we win this are very, very, very low. All lands. Hey, welcome back, Aaron. Thank you so much for that resub. Oh, I, I thought I updated the, the stream title, but I guess it didn't update. All right, Bell Haunts, Dawnbringer. Heck, we could, may even just want Dress, Mortify, Bedevil also. So I think we can take out Angrath, a Johnny. I wonder if we take out Glass in this matchup. Hmm. I like two Glasses.
I don't need that much removal. Okay, I'm going to trim a little bit of Seraph's. I don't know if... Like, Seraph works well with, with Lyra, of course. But it is slow. Alright, so this is 62. Hmm. Sure, I mean, everything's lava coilable. The only thing is, like, with bringing all the Belhan, so that's just a lot more four drops. So, yeah, I guess I'll cut some more. Because that's just a lot of four drops with bringing in all those. Glass is not. Glass is still okay of, like, helping out things not die to burn spells and stuff. Just not something I want a ton of. Oh, this hand could be good if we draw some black sources for the Basilica Bell Haunt. There we go. Good start. Yeah, maybe I don't need the three duress. I'm not... Yeah, you're not, not casting duress turn one very often. It's like something that you can do on like turn three. It's like play a two drop and play a duress kind of thing. Perfect. We have drawn perfectly so far. We drew the two black sources. There is downtime at 8 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. And whenever that finishes up, then War of the Spark will be live. So yeah, like that. So this just this just counters the skewer the critic they played last turn, and gets a you know a risk factor out of their hand. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, Swift Blade's awesome. They can't even attack their Viachino Pyromancer into a Swift Blade Vindicator. Wow, it really does get four cards. Wow. I'll target their creature. Yeah. Somebody in chat said before is like Belhan's a four for one. It's like, well, it really is a four for one. Nah. No blocks. We don't need to trade a lightning strike and a Viachino Pyromancer. <laughs> Did you think I was... Oh, they thought I was blocking. No, opponent, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, well. All right. Okay, they didn't look so bad. <laughs> that didn't look so bad. So the one discard, the two strikes, plus the three life it gained, the countered, you know, another burn spell that just went upstairs. <laughs> All 
Our opponent's like looking at all these all these burn spells they had. Wow, they so they had three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. They had eighteen points of burn. And we're and they've hit us with Pyromancer, and they just hit us for four with that, and we're sitting at ten. And we didn't even hadn't even gained life yet. I guess besides the Vel Hunt. Alright, I'm gonna get another Oligarch back in instead of a Seraph on the on the draw. We need to be a little faster, so getting taking another four drop out for an Oligarch. Oh right, I, for, I kind of forgot about dress. But oh well, we saw we saw how many burn spells they have. Dress can protect Lyra. What's today's date? The twenty fourth. Wow, we're almost out of April already. you got over there skewer we were skewered no I don't I mean yes we, we could have shocked and played footlight fiend but I don't know shocking is I don't like shocking Find the thumbnails. Okay, there we go. All right, back to Twitch chat. Sorry. Hey, Mara. All right. I got all the stuff ready to go for Grixis Discard for the YouTube channel whenever it gets done uploading. It will be up. Try capitalizing, capitalize A for Allegiance. It does. Um, all those, all those should work. But as far as I know, all those still work. But the capitalization matters. So if you, if y'all haven't used any of those codes, I, I haven't heard that any of them have expired. Yeah, fear. Everything's going good. Big creatures. Sweet. That oligarch ate two lightning strikes. Sweet. Just no experimental frenzy, please. Haha! -ha. 
Look at Glass of the Guild Pact. Look at Glass of the Guild Pact. Saving, saving the Footlight Fiends. No, not Frenzy. No. We gotta keep hitting. If I double blocked, they would just deal the damage to the Oligarch, and then I would not have killed the Chain Whirler. Right, like, they just deal... They just deal, like, two damage to Oligarch, and then one to the other thing, and, and then it only deals two to them. Yes, Stream Decker is down right now. <laughs> they tried to Lava Coil my Oligarch. That doesn't work. Oh no, the Shame Concede. All right, Mardu Glass, one and oh. Uh, I have played in thousand. I have played a thousand year storm deck, and I have played an emergency power deck. I have not played those two together or with Smite, which I don't know what that card is. So we had a, a Tajik in play, and Tajik. Part of the, one of the lines of text of Tajik is prevent all uh, non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. So that damage was prevented because we controlled another creature that was not named Tajik. With Blade Vindicator. This card hits hard. Especially against Mono Blue. Uh, Parallax Potion gives you... Parallax Potion gives you uh, Revitalize. Super Scry is the opt. Yeah, Super Scry is that card right there, opt. Oh, this is suddenly Drake's. Well then, not Mono Blue. I'm leaving with Aurelia because it doesn't die to Ser or doesn't die to Lava Coil for Seraph Wood. Oh, those don't work for you? Maybe they stopped working? I don't know. This is Lightning Turns Sawdust Gold is the name of the song. And it is by... I think it just switched. Um, Sleigh Bells. There you go. It was by Sleigh Bells. I don't know what's going on here. Do they have enough to adapt to this thing for one mana? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I guess they do. How do I know which one's adapting? I need a lightning strike one. I'm supposed to know which one's adapting. What is this? I guess I just target the one on top. I guess. This is some shenanigans. Okay. I mean, it, it makes a difference how much damage I trample over. I mean, it wouldn't have, like, you know, even if I hit the wrong one, you know, our Aurelia still would have stayed alive, but we wouldn't have trampled over any damage. Water burn. So it really does not trade with Crackling Drake on blocking, of course. So just gonna have it trade right there. Oh. It doesn't work like that. If I steal Crackling Drake, Crackling Drake turns into a 1 4. We have one instant and sorcery in our graveyard. So it, I did not have, like, I could not steal Crackling Drake and kill my opponent. That's not how the card works. No fire, no steel. Hey, Sanctuary Tank. Oh, you played against somebody with Nullhide Ferox? Oh man, that is really bad luck. Sorry to hear that. Let's double spell. Let's get a couple three twos out here. Again, I'm I'm a little I'm just worried about my Seraph dying to a lava coil, so I I kinda wanna like wait on this Seraph and try to get Lava Coil out of their hand with all of these other things. I guess there are three Lava Coils in their graveyard right now. I guess maybe I shouldn't be as worried about Lava Coil. So I can... I can minus on Crackling Drake, but if they have Dive Down, then that's annoying. They likely just have dive down. No if I steal fire. their creature and they have, if I minus and they have dive down, it doesn't, you know, I don't actually get to steal their creature. So instead we're just gonna tick up, make them lose two life. Get this Judith here, and the Judith um, attacks them where they take four, and then they block the other one that triggers, and we kill them. So yeah, the Judith was was our lethal play. I don't think stealing them was the, even though stealing them was like really enticing. I don't think that was our correct play. All right, so we saw Terry, Terry Mander, and Crackling Drake. So we playing some Drakes. We probably want Bedevils and Mortifies. And the Less Footlight Fiend. Glass of the Guild Pact was really good that game. Yep, I was too scared to lose the Seraph. Didn't even play it. Right. Dawnbringer's probably pretty good. Probably not bad. All right, so if we do play Lyra, what are we really cutting? Cutting Lightning Strikes? So Lightning Strike, good against Terry. Cut a Johnny, cut Judith. I think 
Oligarch, Judith, and a Johnny are like some of my weaker cards. Okay, Judith, that's oh, just so weak to shock. I mean, Tajik's pretty weak to shock also, but Judith, you need like other creatures because if it's just the 2 2. I guess that's what we have our Glass of the Guild Pact for, though. Let's go one Strike, one Judith, one Oligarch, and just go with that. Do I actually need all these Angraths? Maybe I don't. I don't know. Angrath, like, won us that game, but it's kind of the best whenever we're ahead. Maybe I bring Judy back in and trim an Angrath. Yeah, with, with bringing another five drops, yeah, we'll trim an Angrath. Yeah, Mass, you can do that. Um, that's not a bad idea. You can also... You have to wait two weeks to spend your gold on drafts for Arena. I like having this Glass of the Guild packed. What, Conquistador? Conquistador. Alright, we got Double Terry. Really? You're gonna Spell Pierce a Glass of the Guild Pact? Come on, man. Nobody plays this card. Why do you gotta counter it? What's that all about? So I guess we should play Judith first. And then Tajik to... We could just play Vindicator and then Tajik to put the counter over here. The thing that I like about playing Judith, though, <clears throat> is, if, is if our opponent has shock, wow, we get to kill a Terramander. That is great for us. That was great. doesn't mean we're going to win this, you know, like we still have these other things we have to deal with and we're still pretty far behind, but that was a really good trade for us. We had one good trade at least. <laughs> hmm... Do I attack or not? Obviously, I can just play the two cards in my hand. I think I do. I don't think I'm winning sitting back or anything. Yeah, that glass was crucial. We needed that glass of the guild pact. Think of how good this that glass of the guild pact would have been. Like this whole time. Like our Judith wouldn't have died to the shock. Our Tajik would have like attacked through the Enigma Drake with that. That thing wouldn't have died to shock. Yeah, glass of the guild pact was pretty crucial there. All right, let's try again. If we were only on the play, they play turn one Terra Mander, and then we get to play our glass on turn two, and it doesn't get spell pierced. This guy's not very good. It's got some spells, though. Stop getting shock lands. No more lands.
<laughs> there you go, good Horatio. Why the strikes over coils? Because we want to, uh, like, in this specific matchup against the Drakes, obviously Lava Coil would be a lot better for us, but we want to be able to do the damage upstairs where we are a pretty aggressive deck. And we can pair Lightning Strike with, like, Judith Triggers to take things down, or you can pair it with, uh, like, Tajik has first strike, the uh, Swift Blade Vindicator has first strike, um, like that kind of stuff. But we want, we want our... Our removal spell to be able to go upstairs. So good news, they already used one lava coil. Maybe they're out of lava coils. Ooh. Oh! Don't spell pierce this. I want to put this in tapped. But, oh, thank you. Thank you for not spell piercing. Woo! Oh, man, I would have been set. so sad. All right, so now our Seraph is going to be a 6-5, so no lava coil to kill it. Yeah, we got a large inter international audience, which is awesome. Um, I think it has like a demographics thing on on your Twitch, and I'm at like 40 to 49 percent. It says US, and and on the YouTube channel, it's at like 50 percent US. That's cool. Yeah, we get three three spirit tokens. Um, I'll say no blocks. Creatures are big. Who's the Drake Tech now? Who's the Drake deck now? <laughs> I guess they're still the Drake deck, but our angels are fighting the Drakes pretty well. Are they going to use a dive down? So they're just using a dive down just for the sole purpose of having me spend one mana? Alright. Death touch. Mardu Glass, 2-0. No, I, our opponent did not forget. Like, they, they knew what they were doing. They were just... They had nothing else to do with their dive down, basically. Because how they, they made, like, a good attack with it, the you know, a couple turns before that, and then when we had the black man up, they didn't attack into it and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, six power after life. Can we get a land? I like this. If we, if we can be on the play and have Vindicator into Tajik, into, Ju into Judith, that is a lot of damage really quickly. Oh, love it. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Glass of the Gilpack Drakes. Could do that. Hmm. Maybe I lead with Judith?
What? You have Collision Colossus? Alright, so our opponent wants to play... They want to get a free attack in and represent Collision Colossus and then play Gruel Spellbreaker. There we go. I guess that's a victory. Man, Mardu Glass is so powerful. Our opponent just made that attack and was just like, that's it. I can't do it. Uh, no, you, you don't get a deck in the queue for just for just subscribing, Dad. Uh, Dad can find. Yeah, 32 and 0. Whoops. All right, Mardu Glass is coming, coming, coming out strong. Uh, with Amazon Prime, you can only sub every single month. So you know you, and it's a thing that you have to do month by month. Uh, you cannot set it up to to do more than that. And they don't even send you reminders, which is weird. I also you just you have to um, you have to manually do it each time. But it's it's easy. Um, but if you have Amazon Prime, you can you know the the Twitch Prime is free. You know, like if you have. You know, if you have Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch account, and you still get the free subscription, though. That you can use and get all the cool emotes and everything. Knight of Grace? I guess I do have a lightning strike for that. I don't get to play my glass, though. Hey! Dad can find got a gifted sub from Johnny Pot Pie. That gets some hype in the channel. Thank you so much, Santa Johnny. All right, that's sub number 15 on the day. Hmm. All this first strike. I don't like it. No, I can't run a poll for continents, no. Um, I don't know like where any individual viewer is from. It just kind of tells me uh, overall demographics. I knew it was storming real bad in Dallas. I didn't know it was, that there was flooded. Way to go, Adash. You reached Mythic. Way to go. Good job, Adash. I don't think there's any Twitch Prime bonus for Arena, no. Not that I know of. Yeah, Mardu Glass versus Mardu Knights. Uh oh. They got their janky artifact. We got our much better and definitely not janky artifact. Do I want to trade Judith for Benelish Marshall? I don't think so. Yeah, pre release is going to be awesome. If you didn't see. T Moneyless, if you didn't see in the Discord channel, Mike wrote up a a cool little pre-release primer for people that aren't that don't play limited too much um, in the in the limited room. Yeah, Clo Clogdar, you can if you donate. Yeah, I'll play your deck on stream, and also or also if you 
uh, make some purchases, make a purchase through any of my amazing sponsors over here, I will play your deck on stream also. And so a lot of information about that in the info panels about each one. Uh, it's usually $20 to have your deck played on stream with a purchase through Quip or Movement. You get a free donation deck. Uh, with Harry's, you get a five or a $10 donation deck, and with uh, MeUndies, a $5 donation deck. All right. So let's steal the Balanced Marshal. Our Angrath's going to die, but Angrath's going to die a hero. <laughs> Your crew for my I mean, are they even dead? They may be dead. That's 16. I guess they're down to two. But then we sacrifice this thing and we deal an extra one. Ah, almost had him. <laughs> oh no, T Money, unless you're playing against Grixis Discard? No. I've weathered tougher storms than you. And there we go. Hey, Za. All right, so we're playing against knights. We did a, a good job of clearing out a couple knight blockers. Uh, Mortify, unfortunately, not good at killing knights. It like they either have the pro white or the pro black knight, and Mortify doesn't kill either, unfortunately. Lyra Dawnbringer is a good card to have access to, though. So let's bring in some of those. What do I want to cut? Maybe just trim a couple imperious oligarchs. Maybe just go with this. Midnight Reaper is not bad. I mostly have Midnight Reaper in the in the deck for like control decks for like removal heavy decks. It doesn't it doesn't trade with those first strike knights at all. Bellhaunt can like play some good D, but like all of our four drops are pretty good at D. Um, I could see playing Bellhaunt instead of Angrath, like on the draw here. Let me do that on one of them. I'm gonna bring in one Bellhaunt. We'll get him. Thanks, Resonant. Yeah, if you like the playlist, uh, the playlist you can find here. This is where you can find my playlist that I have on Spotify. One land. All right, they're at six also. We'll go to six too. Looks like we're going to five. All right, this five card hand sweet because we're gonna have some more lands. If it's a spell, it's going to the bottom. It spells bottom. Hmm. Go, Foot Light Fiend, go. There's no way they have a, a two drop in their deck full of two drops. Dang it, they had a two drop. I didn't think they would. Yeah, I probably didn't need to uh, shock in there. Dang, yeah, we got 1,200 viewers in here. Welcome, everybody. Got a good curve over there. That's a really solid curve.
Oh no, I should I just should not have blocked that. They're just gonna be a lot bigger next turn. That was a bad block. Oh well. We're dead. Maybe more bell haunt? Less Footlight Fiend? Footlight Fiend did seem like it really does anything. Alright, more Mortify. Less Footlight Fiend. Let's try that. See if we just like mortify the history banale after the first time it comes out or destroy the Benelish Marshal. Sure it, does, sure, it doesn't kill the two drops, but it kills the other stuff. Their creatures have hexproof from black, not protection, so yeah, you're, you can still block with them. This is what we needed last time. We needed the glass. All right, we got the glass. The glass has been acquired. Now, nah, protection from color is not a thing they print anymore. Yeah, why is it called glass? Because of glass of the guild pact. That card right there. Don't you shock this. Don't you do it. Hey, good job, Lee the Panther. Thank you so much, Lee the Panther. Picked up the Harry Starter set. Yeah, actually, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> we should call this Glass Cannon. Ooh. Definitely possible I should just be shocking in and playing Aurelia here, and that I'm being too careful with my life total. Definitely, definitely possible. So, speaking of that Harry's deal, if y'all don't know about it, you can get a Harry starter set for just $3 sent to you uh, because of my referral link and coupon code. Wow. I really wish I would have played Aurelia now. So their starter set, you get their uh, get one of their razors, shaving cream, uh, travel case, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, free shipping, three dollars. Go go through my referral link that I just put in the chat. You can find it down below. Also, it's a just a great deal to have set up with Harry's right now. Um, and then uh, let's go here and and then sign up for the subscription. Which is cancelable anytime. You don't need to make any further purchases. So sign up for the subscription. Uh, that gets you five dollars off, so it, your price goes from thirteen dollars to eight dollars. And then use coupon code Todd Stevens MTG, and you get another five dollars off. So it turns it into three dollars for U.S., Canada, and U.K. So check it out. Uh, you know, three dollars help support the stream. If we have eleven more people sign up for that, we're doing a twelve hour stream. You do not have and to get a nice razor. More than you assume. Those creatures are big. Those are big. Alright, Mardu Glass is 4 and 0. Oh, it is 
just stomping right now. 4-0, y'all know what that means. We got one more win. We got to win to defeat our final boss. We are there. We have an extra life in case we lose. We can we can hit the extra life button. All right, here we go. Final boss time. Love it. Dad dad can find it getting all those Final boss emotes in the chat, too. Perfect. Could be Esper. I wouldn't mind facing some Esper. That's a good... That's a good pick. Hmm. I mean, if we draw like a couple of lands, we can really curve out here. You know, we need to draw red source in our first two draws. Now, new set is tomorrow. I'm going to mulligan, though. All right, we'll keep it this time, though, because we have the scry. Perfect. Face Sunday is our final boss. Is this Esper? With the Azorius person? No, it is Gruul. Or not, why is it Gruul? <laughs> uh, Sultai, gosh. So, good, no Wild Growth Walker. Wild Growth Walker is, is definitely a challenge. This is our, this is just our worst matchup just in general though. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Soul Ties are worst matchup. Yeah, or... Okay, there you go. I'll check this one out. Uh, let me pause this. On the Discord channel, there is there's a place if you have any uh, song uh, song recommendations or anything, you, you can post them in the Discord channel. Um, I do use Spotify to keep the music and <laughs> taking full light fiend to keep the music separate uh, from the regular audio. Um, so Spotify links are appreciated there. Let's start pumping up these Vindicators. One card left. We can beat everything on the battlefield here. I'm assuming their last card left is an Explore Creature, considering they kept Wild Growth Walker. Unless they just kept it hoping to draw an Explore Creature. I do not want it to be Finality, of course. Uh, Vivian I don't really like either. Would you like to see what's left as balance comes? The War of the Spark preview is on, on the YouTube channel. Ooh. Hmm. Strength is born of struggle. Okay, not attack. Ooh, I've they're taking Vivian up. That would break someone like you. Okay. That, that one's fine. Was well, not a hostage taker, which is good. No hostage taker or hydro crisis. Uh, 
Be strong. I should have probably pumped up a Vindicator. Instead of the Aurelia. Yeah, I probably should have just pumped up a Vindicator. Alright, so we're dealing... One, two, one, two, three, hmm. So three, four, five, and then hmm. We cannot keep this thing alive. All right, Vindicator is going to die, but it's going to take out a lot of stuff. Stop nature. I should have pumped up the Vindicator. And they're just dead. Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead. Right, because we can do 12, they have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. I mean, heck, we can... I'll just take up. Look how far you have come. Okay. Yeah, they they uptick they upticked their Vivian and found Chupacabra off an uptick. Well, we got game one against our worst matchup because of how strong Swiftblade Vindicator is. You saw that how it just completely destroyed their whole battlefield. That card's really good. And it was really remember when when my opponent hostage they they played hostage taker and took my Footlight Fiend and I kind of chuckled there. That was that was their downfall. Yeah, double strike and trample. If you can pump this thing up, which we were able to with all the with the Ajani and everything. I don't like our chances really in the last two games, but You know, we're in, we're obviously, you know, we're trying and everything. I don't like our our chances here. Yeah, they could have killed my flyer with the Vivian too. Yeah, Angrath. And Angrath we trust. Yeah, you're doing heroic, heroic reinforcements with Vindicator. That's a good one. Hopefully they don't have any removal spells. And we need to draw lands. It's not a land. It's 
Not a land still. We really need lands. Yeah, you could have Vindicator in a Feather deck. Could certainly do that. Where are the lands at? Alright, Dad. See you tomorrow. Can't play the spells in our hand. I know this is like good for their find, but oh well. I I want this token against Thief of Sanity for now. Yeah, Swift Blade Vindicator is so good that Sultai is boarding it in here, right? That's how good that card is. I don't want to give them a Jade Light also for their fin finality, but now we got... Yeah, I could go in and attack with both. I don't think that's a very good play. They just have any kind of life gain with Wild Growth Walker. Anything. I'm just not... I don't have any other, like... Like, other ways to push through damage next turn, even with drawing a land, really, like... Yeah, the whole I hit them for six and then hit them again for six would assume that all of those cards in the hand, not a single one of them is a single is a removal spell. And none of them are also explore creatures for Wild Growth Walker. It's like it's pretty hard to imagine what they could possibly have in their hand that me attack for three and attack for attack for six, attack for six again actually wins the game. All right, game three here against the final boss of our worst matchups with Sultai. Yeah, there, there's our land. Uh, but we remember we do have our extra life, so even if we lose this, we got our extra life, and we'll be four one. We can try again to get the five win. <clears throat> I know we drew a land. I had to concede. I was like, "What is this?" I don't know what that is. All right, five win dream still alive. We get to be on the play. Let's see what we got. So it'd be better if all these lands were not buddy lands, but oh well. I 
was risky. That could have that could have missed. Draw lands. I love the I love the Angrath. Just please draw lands. Come on, deck. Please draw lands. Draw lands. Come on. Just the life gain wild growth walker threatens with you know gaining six of the jade light. We just have to use the removal spells on it. No one knows the the wild wasn't meant to be contained. Please draw land. Okay. No. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> you have to do better than that. Come to me. One more. One more land. We are playing Swift Blade Vindicator with the Empire music going. Scars are lessons written in skin. Hmm. Survive. You'll see. It's a weird thing to say whenever you're dying. I always I always survive. Dang, hostage taker is just such a problem. Like Wild Growth Walker is such a problem, hostage taker is such a problem. Finality. This is just a really hard matchup for us to win. And then they even have Krasis, which we haven't even seen Krasis yet either. We needed that Angrath a lot earlier before all this stuff started happening. Angrath on curve is our is our best thing possible. Because they, that's when they have like a ton of spells in hand.
Ugh. Come on. Man, we still have never been able to play the Sangrath. Like even even just now, just dealing that that wow growth walker would have been nice. Me? I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. We're dead. <laughs> Thanks, Team Moneyless. All right, well, we, we put up a good fight against our worst matchup. If we could have curved out into Angrath, I really think we could have won that. Would have been a lot closer, at least. Uh, Angrath's just so powerful. But we got our extra life, though, so we're good. We got our extra life. Let's let's try not to get paired against Sultai. No, we could not have lived at one life with Lightning Strike. Because they just they can cast down my blocker and I lightning strike one of their attackers and they still have two attackers and I have one blocker and each every one of their attackers is lethal. New sets playable tomorrow. We were playing ranked matches earlier, which is why we were able to display as many. That's why we played eight. I'm keeping this. I'm gonna draw opponents on six cards. Um, you know, hopefully we can fill out our curve. There we go. That's a good card. That fills out the curve. It's in the morning. 8 a.m. Pacific time is whenever the downtime will happen to put arena up and. Whenever that's through, they're estimating maybe two hours. Whenever that's through, then Arena will be... Or sorry, to put uh, War of the Spark on Arena. And whenever that's through, War of the Spark will be on Arena. Yeah, they, they estimated it would take two hours. So, around, around 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is like 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm playing Glass before Oligarch. It's like if there's if I play Oligarch and then there's like Chain Whirler, the Oligarch's dead. Uh, this also makes my you know I can start playing these Seraphs next turn, which will be six fives. They won't, or no, they'll be five fours. Never mind, they still die too. Never mind, still die to Coil, but they don't likely have Coil main deck anyway. But I just like in the like in the Glass and play. So we don't have to worry about Chain Whirler basically. Uh, I'm not as high on new Nissa 
as a lot of people have been in, in the chat today. You know, we'll see. I'm, you know, I don't think it's bad or anything, but there's a lot of people saying it's like one of the very best cards in the set, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not. I'm not as high on it. No, I'm gonna start the stream early tomorrow. I'm gonna start as soon as, starting it as soon as, War of the Sparks available on Arena. Yeah, this is a. Um. I guess a penguin tie. Uh, just got has some flowers on it and everything. Hmm. Let's get another seraph in play. Yeah, I'm gonna have. I got the fifty. I decided to get. I got the fifty pack war thing. And then I have enough gold for another 75 packs, so we're going to be cracking 125 packs at the beginning of the stream. And then already I have a lot of wild cards as well, so then we'll use wild cards after that on whatever we need to fill out decks. Do y'all think I should open the packs like one at a time? Or... We do like the 10 at a time. Hmm. We just have to play defense here. We gotta make <clears throat> we gotta make sure we can stay alive. I want both of these back as blockers, but I, you know, I want to attack for 10, so we have lethal next turn, but I want them both to back for blockers. We, we can certainly die here to Frenzy. Hopefully we don't, but we certainly can. We need, we need to hit them to hit two lands. <clears throat> like, that's our, that's our only hope. We gotta have two lands here. Because they have infinite mana now. With, with double Steamkin, they have infinite mana. So no lands yet. This has been horrible so far. There's one land. Come on, one more. One more land. I mean, well, they just they just have one more burn spell. They got us. Hit a lot of burn spells there. So I could certainly see them, yeah, using using mana here to pop frenzy and then having a burn spell in a burn spell in hand. That's what I'm kind of expecting here. So it looks like we're dead. Predictions for War metagame, blue decks are going to be really good. Blue looks to be the strongest color. Um, blue, blue is already the strongest color. It, that's like not really much of a surprise. It's not much of a change. It's already the strongest color. Hey, Hawkeye. Okay. 
Hmm. How do we beat Mono Red earlier? I think we played all three duresses. I'm going with this. Ugh, come on, Hawkeye. Yeah, we got some Lord of the Rings music in our final boss playlist here. Every set before Guilds of Ravnica will be rotating out later on this year. Four sets rotate at a time. And so... Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and M19 are all going to rotate out. Oh, I guess we do have 61, don't we? Well, good. We got more spells. Because <clears throat> my hand has too many lands, so... I was already just planning that. Got an extra spell. I blame Hawkeye for being up in front of the screen. Whenever I was sideboarding. Yeah. So all all calculated. We need that extra spell. Okay. Oh yeah, he's the best. All right. Good. Good thing we played the glass first. So now. Firebrand would have been able to kill Vindicator, and now it cannot. Bleh. If you're a Magic Vet returning to the game and decide to pick up Arena, what would you suggest? investing in that's kind of too hard of a question to answer because that's <clears throat> that's kind of different for everybody it's it's basically everybody has different play styles um, really the thing to do is just, you know kind of look at you know look at the decks that are doing well or or and or kind of build a, a deck of cards you like kind of thing and just find something that, that you enjoy find something that fits your play style you know like some people like control decks some people like aggro decks you know it's hard to just hard, you know. I can't. I can't really be the one to tell you what to what to build. Um, three, fifteen, around sixteen hours ish. Tell war is live. Yes, there will be a different format, so the cards will still be able to be used that rotate out of standard. Alright, we need to start drawing our Basilica Bell Haunts and Lyra Dawnbringers. That's what we need to start drawing here. Bell Haunt and Dawnbringer. It's not good enough. Not good enough. What's the best set to draft from the last seven years? It's tough. There's a lot of good ones. Dang, we fell. Maybe Konzatark here? Yeah, I I kept a risky one with the five lands. But our deck doesn't mulligan that well. And 
And the most important cards in our deck are expensive with Belhan and Lyra. Like, they're, they're expensive cards. So I liked that we had the mana for those and was hoping that we were going to be drawing spells because our, our deck uh, doesn't mulligan too well. So went 4-2. and two. Went 1-1 one, one against Mono Red there. Uh, lost to Sultai, our t toughest matchup. And then steamrolled some other decks. Um, yep. That's what happens. Sometimes you just yeah struggle to get lands and flood and others. Like that's that's just magic. Uh, that's that's what makes like these kind of decks just kind of worse in general than decks with a lot of card draw because you know you can't you can't draw out of like you know find your spells when you're drawing too many lands or um, draw your lands whenever you're you know you're not finding them or that kind of stuff. It's hard when you don't have card draw when you're just relying on one card to turn. That's that's usually pretty tough, um, but we did pretty good. You know, four and two. So Mardu Glass uh, worked pretty well for us. Yeah, Glass the Guild Pact was awesome. Um, Swift Play Vindicator was awesome. And there we go. Good deck. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.